Hi everyone, um, welcome to the next um, video on our IB page. And we're actually moving towards the halfway mark now, which is quite fun. And we have this um, flower here for today. Now I did say in yesterday's video that I was going to do this one red, so I am. And um, I'm just having a little look at the reds that we have in the, um, in the set. And we have quite a few different reds. You can see this one looks quite pale. That is the um, Venetian red. And then these ones, the Cadmian red, the Vermilion and the Scarlet red, are all a bit more similar. We also have the Indian red, which is quite a lot darker. So what I think I'm going to do is pick a light and a dark, so that one and that one, to uh, do this flower. So i just pop those back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, we have these little pieces on the outside and I'm going to do those with the vermilion which is my darker choice of red. So I'm just going to start by doing those and I'm going to do them solid. Okay so there's no, um, it's quite small area and also um, these, I may go over these in black after I might change my mind I don't know if, oh I have, no I don't think I've got black pen in here. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, uh, just um, working through them all. It's quite funny, this picture here, um, in the centre I use Van Dyke Brown. And it it's funny because Van Dyke always makes me think of Dick Van Dyke. And uh, I guess it depends what country you're in as to whether you've heard of him, um, a film actor. And I just think of Mary Poppins. Um, which is um, a film that he was in and uh, it's sort of um, the first sort of grown-up film my children watched because obviously um, although it's a children's film because it's old-fashioned it's sort of not one that young children watch but uh, they did watch it with me and enjoyed it. My son used to love, um, <laughs> he won't thank me for saying this, he used to love dancing the Charleston and so there's a Charleston song in there, Venetian Red, um, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, they dance the Charleston. My aim is to make darker layers here and less towards the tip of the leaf and I may even go over in a little bit of pink um, at the end. It's quite a pinky red, I think. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's... I don't actually, it's not, is it? It's more orangey. Anyway, I'm going to try and make sure I cover the whole petal. I've missed off quite a bit at the minute. And I'll just see how it looks when I'm done, really. I'm just going to do all the leaves in a similar way. But yes, he used to... Uh, he can, he can do it really well. The um, Charleston step. I can't. But anyway. <laughs> but I remember impressing um, somebody saying that they'd watched that film. I think they thought it was quite a highbrow film for children of their age. They did watch Sound of Music as well. But I uh, didn't really like that one. I think... Um, isn't quite so jolly and there's this sort of love story which they don't find interesting. You notice I'm just colouring over the red. I've given up trying to avoid these um whatever they are. Seed seed pods? I don't know. Seed pods isn't the right word. Stamen maybe. I'm trying to think about the centre of this flower as well. What to do with that. But we'll concentrate on the petals first. So what I'm going to do is knit back to using the vermilion oops, and go around that centre part again just to darken it up because when you colour over a dark colour with a light colour obviously it fades it down a little bit and we can just and also just layering up will make something a bit darker. I definitely think we need to do something with these Hmm, I'm just having a look at what I've got in here. But anyway, wood. And I'm thinking that, mm, yes, this colour here, the um, flesh Deep, I can use to just darken 
make the colour more intense without going to a darker shade. So that's what I'm going to try and do. And it will just then make the paper disappear, the white, without impacting the actual colour that we want to achieve. I think that's working quite well. If I had layered more of the Venetian red on top, we would not have seen the contrast so much between the light and dark, or even between this darker red on these sort of dots. So that's why I have chosen to do it this way. I am tempted to do the centre of this in black, but um, I'm not sure if it will look too similar to the other red flower, but maybe it doesn't matter. See, I'm going to grab the ivory black and actually I'm going to just erase the red out of the centre a little bit. I'm going to go too near the edge. Oh, I've got my brush. I usually like to brush, not with my hand. I left it, left it next door. I was using it last night at my desk when I was sitting with the family. So what I'm trying to do here is get a darker layer around the edge and less towards the centre. And try and make it look like there's a little shine in the middle. I'm going to do each of these dots in black if I can. There's a lot of layers of red. Trying to cover those over with a pencil is quite tricky. But going to do my best because I don't have a pen in here. Using a black pen might be better. In fact, I don't, I've only got one black pen. It's got quite thick. Nib. I've used up all my black fine liners. So I use them for different things. Now if you want this um, to look darker at the bottom of the petals, you could use a bit of black. But I don't want to do that. I'm happy like that. I'm just going to tidy up that. Okay, so now we have our um, leaves to do. Um, hmm, what sort of colour would you do to go with these sorts of orangey reds? I would like to go quite light. I think I'm going to start light. Leaf green light is the lightest green that I've got in my set. I'm going to put a layer down. Now, with the light colours, if you burnish them too hard into the paper, you can't get a darker one on top. So I'm trying to do quite a light layer and not press too hard. And I will come back to that colour in a minute. I'm going to use the leaf green middle oops, to add a little bit of um, shadow. So a little bit these petals would be shadowing. Now you can use a brown to show shadow um, rather than a green. I'm going to do a bit at the bottom as well. I just think it's fun. Um, but I find it can sometimes make it look a little bit dirty, browns. So um, it depends on what you're after. Now back to the leaf green light. And I'm going to put down a heavier layer in the central area. And I think I'm going to put some... Hmm. Hmm. I say white Posca, but I don't have any in here. So, what well, I can't. I'll, uh, I'm just going, putting quite a few layers down now because I don't mind if it burnishes in, but I want it to show up. So I want it to be light, but enough to show. I hope that makes sense. And I'm going to go back to my leaf green middle and just emphasise those areas that I want to be a little darker. Again, sometimes it's worth going back. Just layering it back over can make quite a difference. There we 
we go. Now let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm happy with that. Now what I would do if I had a white is probably put a dot in each of these, maybe around there. But I don't have one in here. I'm going to go and fetch one in a minute. But uh, for now, that's me done. So thank you so much for watching. I um, hope you have a lovely day and happy colouring.